No, Freddie, what, 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 I mean, you, you, you've talked often about your, your depression and your battles with drink, and uh, my husband suffers from both of those things, and I know at times he has definitely said that because of that there's been a lot of very selfish behaviour within yeah. our relationship. He's owned up to that and we've worked really hard on that. Is, would you... Would you... Would you... Yeah, I, I think um, I think the co people closest to you bear the brunt of most of it. Mm. You know, as a professional sportsman, they all say sportsmen have got to be selfish to be successful. And as a, as a cricketer, I didn't think I was selfish. I was a good team player, got on with people, did whatever I could for the side. But then you think about it. You know, I've been married 12 years, and through that, my missus, she never got the good stuff really. If we won, I'd go out with lads and we'd all get drunk and have a night out and celebrate. She'd get me if we get beat. And then you come home for three days and you're, you're sulking on the couch. And even now, I suppose with the work you do, you turn up, you put a face on sometimes and you turn into this character that everybody wants. And then you go home and then you just sit there and mm. do mm. not. So I think in that respect, yeah, there is a definite is that, selfishness. Mm. Is that tied in with your depression, though, that almost you have to have this gargantuan strength to give the face that people want and then there's nothing left when you get home? Well, I, I think as, as a cricketer, I wanted to be the thing that everybody wanted me to be. Yeah. You know, I, whatever I lacked in ability, technically, I made up for in sheer bravado and will. Yeah. And I played this character. It was almost like acting. Every time I walked out onto a cricket field, mm. I walked out as if I own this ground. This is all mm. about me. But inside, never actually felt that. Oh. And it was after I retired and probably the past few years, it's almost, I don't need to do that anymore. Would you you know, it's exhausting. Yeah. Would yeah. you say then that the, the Freddie character that you created <clears throat> to play cricket and be a professional sports person, would you say that it's fair to say that that, that person could never be depressed because that person exactly, is a figment yeah. of your mind? So it, it held back and it's all, all for you. So once you've purged mm -hmm. with all that happiness, as soon as it fell back to you, that's when everything could tip the balance. Yeah, there's probably two sides to my character, which I've looked at it as that Freddie who goes out and plays cricket and he's mm. this bulletproof character who go out there, he'll put himself in any situation and just get on with it. But then Andrew is the lad who sits at home and is around his family and a lot quieter and a lot shyer. Mm. And mm. I suppose the pretense of that or trying to live up to that in the end became exhausting. Mm. And you could only do it for, for so long. And these things, you know, like the, the drink, the depression, all these things, I think are a result of that. Mm. Yeah. Um, but now, you know, I don't feel the need to be... Anything but, but I'm not. 